everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing a Q&A video, one of my favourite videos to film. I really enjoy just sitting and having a good chat because I can talk. <laughs> I set to Instagram as I always do and I said if you have any questions leave them down below and you left quite a few questions down below so I'm going to get started and answer some of them for you. Underscore Soft Gale says how do you balance schoolwork and YouTube? Um, I don't. <laughs> I'm very, very bad at it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my videos have been few and far between recently. Quite a lot of coursework deadlines and boring things like that that I no longer really care about, but have to do. At the moment, videos have taken quite a bit of a backseat, which does upset me a lot because um, in my eyes it's more of a priority than my school, which I know lots of you are gonna, are gonna get really annoyed about that, but it's kind of the truth. Weekdays, school, weekends, YouTube. I'm like props to people who do it well, because <laughs> it's quite a lot of work and I don't understand how they manage to do it, to be honest. Nadia Means Hope says, do you feel the difference between being 17 and 18? Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. No, not so much. I'm technically now an adult, um, which is absolutely terrifying and I feel completely not ready to be classed as an adult, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Apart from obviously if I break the law, I'll be charged as an adult rather than a child, which is, you know, forefront of my mind if I, <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know, not much has really changed. I'm still very much the same person. I'm just, I was a day older from being 17 to 18. It was a day's difference. So, not all that much changed, to be honest, over overnight. But it's cool. I like to be able to say, like, oh, I'm 18 rather than 17, because it's a bit of an awkward age, to be honest. Lu.c.ia, so Lucia, 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 I think. Do you think you would survive a zombie apocalypse? Why or why not? Um, I don't really know, actually. I like to think I would, but let's be real, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just hide and like wait it out, like find a really good hiding place. I'm, I'll probably just end up dying of starvation from just not leaving my hiding place rather than um, like being eaten by a zombie. Lauren Delape 7, I'm just gonna go with that, I'm sorry if it's wrong, it probably is, let's be real, it says pizza or chicken? I think I'm gonna have to go with chicken. I like pizza, but I always just crave chicken. So probably chicken. Arabella Sai says, what were your AS results? What subjects do you study? What do you wish to do with your A-levels? Um, for my AS's, I got um, ABB, and I actually recently got my EPQ results and I got a B. Um, I'm disappointed with the B, but I know that's what I deserve. So I got ABB, a, B, B, B. Currently I'm studying Art, English and Drama. I'm predicted an A star, A, B. So um, we'll see how that goes. And um, what I wish to do with my A-levels, I don't really wish to do much with them other than put them on a CV. Annabella Sai also says, opinions on going to university. Now, as you guys know, I am personally not going to university, but I am in a very, very small minority at my school who aren't. I'm one of three. And my opinions on university is, if it is right for you, then I think university is bloody an, an amazing thing to do. Have a profession that you really want to do and you need uni to do it, then obviously go to university. Well, obviously I'm not speaking from experience, but <laughs> from what I've heard, um, it's a great place to meet new people, to kind of experience living away from home and living in a new place and studying something that you're really interested in. If I went to university I would probably do an English literature degree and I'm not planning on using that, like if I do what I really want to do which is makeup artistry, I probably won't use an English literature degree. won't use an English literature degree, I can't speak today. So I just feel I'd like to go to the University of Life and just throw myself in the deep end because why not? Um, it's quite scary. Even now I feel like I'm just so ready to get into the big wide world and start working that um, I feel like I couldn't hold off another three years. Like even doing A levels is starting to really drag. Like I just don't want to be in education anymore. Just, just enjoy the experience. Sammy Riverall. 
I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. Says, um, I struggle with bulimia and you've been such an inspiration for me. I'm from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Um, how do you manage to keep a positive attitude when every day we get bombarded with images and ideas of what beautiful means? Um, so I'm obviously not going to go into great depth here um, because I don't want to lower the tone too much of this video because I seem I have a tendency to do that in Q&As. In the past I have um, gone down the path of unhealthy ways to try and lose weight and um, that was due to um, obviously me just not being confident in my body and the way that I look. Um, I have done a whole video on body image and I've touched on it on another Q&A so I'll link both of those down below. I do feel that there is a lacking of diversity in the media, in modelling, in fashion um, and I feel like, um, oh god I don't... I want to say this eloquently. I don't just want to repeat everything I said in that video, but the way that I keep positive and um, keep my confidence up and stay motivated, dressing how I like, wearing what I want, saying, you know, fuck it, like this is how I look and that's okay, I'm fine, I'm a good person, doesn't matter. Being with the people who make me feel beautiful and who love me no matter how I look because it shouldn't matter and as long as you can make people smile then what's more important it takes time it takes supportive people around you if you are struggling with something as serious as bulimia is an awful awful place to be in and I completely completely sympathize with you you need to not punish yourself for how you look you need to not feel like you're not good enough everybody looks different nobody sat down one day and said right so today um, we're gonna decide what's beautiful um, we're gonna write that down in stone now that situation as convincing as that role play was never happened it was never decided that certain people were going to be more beautiful than others because of the way they looked. It was never a thing. It's not a thing. It's just what people have made a thing, which I don't think should be a thing. <laughs> you don't need permission from other people to feel beautiful. You don't. Never feel that you are not good enough because you don't look like those girls that you see who you think are beautiful and who you aspire to look like. You are just as beautiful and just as equal and important as those girls are you just look different to them you don't look inferior you don't look less attractive you just look different like that's all that this is there's no rule as to who is attractive and who isn't as long as you are healthy and a confident human being in who you are it doesn't matter how you look and you should never go to unhealthy means in order to make yourself look more like those girls it's not worth making yourself really unwell um just know that i think you're beautiful be you and do your thing and you're doing it fabulously beth underscore lowry lowry underscore says shout the first thing that comes into your head buy a brew rabia dot Sadiq says, are you scared of moving from home and being on your own? Because I am, lol. <laughs> I'm not afraid of living on my own. I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. I am so excited to have my... What's happening? What's happening? Here we go. Sort yourself out, gang. Come on. I'm so excited to have my own space, somewhere I can call my home, that I don't have to compromise how it looks. I can decorate it how I want. If I want to cover every wall with... Ooh, there's a head right there. Every wall with tapestries, I will do that. Managing my finances and like taking the bins out on time and like getting on with my neighbours, stuff like that I'm worried about. Um, but that's just the whole grown up part of it. But the actual living on my own and not having someone else in the house actually sounds really nice. Zilatina Peanut says, who bit the apple's apple? What? Who bit the apple, 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 apple? Who bit the apple's 
who bit what? Who bit the apple's apple? Please let me know, lol. I don't know, probably someone like I just did. Here's Fraser says, where did you get your jumper from? Your mum's chest hair! I think those are all the questions that I have time to answer right now because I don't want this video to get too long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more Q&As then leave a question down below in a comment and I will come back to these when I film the next one and answer those. I also ask for questions on Instagram nearer to the time so go follow me on there if you want to be involved in my next Q&A video which will probably be in about a month's time. Also my Facebook and my Twitter are linked down below too so go follow me on those. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a really 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 great day and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!